Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. On Friday, defense giant Northrop Grumman provided a glimpse at one of the new B-21 Raider jets at a government facility north of Los Angeles where its most sensitive military projects are developed and built. It was the Pentagon's newest bomber in more than 30 years, lifting the veil of secrecy on its new secret long-range jet with many speculating that the show is intended as a central part of Washington's effort to keep China in check. Some experts are speculating that the B-21 Raider may be the most advanced thing in the US arsenal going forward. This was basically set in stone when Lloyd Austin III, the current US Defense Secretary, confirmed the aircraft was indeed a sixth generation bomber. The B-21's design appears to be the familiar futuristic flying wing. The aircraft is expected to cost about $750 million per aircraft, which is really not that bad if true considering the claimed capabilities of the aircraft. This was probably made possible due to overlapping parts and designs from previous projects in the past. Of course, specific details about the aircraft and its capabilities are classified, but we were given some very basic information that we can extrapolate from in the video. When talking about the range of the B-21 Raider, we were told, quote, it won't need to be based in theater and it won't need any logistical support to hold any target at risk. End quote. Basically, this means no air-to-air -air refueling will be needed for the B-21, and it was implied that it can travel to any theater of combat no matter where it's based to hit any target. Constantly needing air-to-air -air refueling is a major limiting factor for any long-range mission, as the tanker needs to be protected so the long-range bomber can refuel from it. If this tanker can be knocked out by the enemy, then the mission for the previous generation of bombers may have become impossible. This concept of knocking out tankers to deny longer range missions is something adversary countries have already developed weapon systems to do, like the MiG-31 and its R-37 tanker and AWACS killer hypersonic missiles. Not needing this level of logistical support greatly increases the possible mission sets that the B-21 Raider can take on. When talking about the stealth during the presentation, we were told, quote, 50 years of low observable technology have gone into this aircraft, and even the most sophisticated air defense systems will struggle to see the B-21 in the sky. End quote. Obviously, we didn't get a lot of information about the stealth of the aircraft, but it's fair to say one can expect it to be even more stealth than the F-22. We would assume the F-22 stealth technology was part of this 50 years of technology that went into developing the B-21. The B-21 will carry conventional and nuclear weapons and could eventually fly without a pilot, according to Northrop Grumman. So having a pilot in the aircraft is now optional. You also only have a capability if you can maintain that capability and supposedly the B-21 Raider is extremely easy to maintain and keep airworthy. We heard a lot of other buzzwords during the presentation like open system architecture meaning the aircraft is designed to be easy to upgrade in the future with new avionics or even possibly weapon systems that haven't even been invented yet. Another phrase that was dropped during the presentation was multifunctional. The B-21 is multifunctional. Functional. Presumably this means the B-21 can handle anything from gathering intel to battle management to integration with allies in combat environments. This has led to speculation that the B-21 might even be capable of acting as a stealthy surveillance or reconnaissance aircraft. The B-21 is expected to evade enemy radar, achieve a high altitude top speed, and carry a payload of advanced weapons that can be dropped on many targets in a single pass. Some are going so far as to call the B-21 Raider America's China deterrence bomber. 